What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? I'm Animagus, and today we're going to be talking about everything coming up in the month of May. It is going to be unbelievable. There are a lot of brand new events and things that I want to speculate about in just a minute. But first, we got to read this blog post so we can know everything that's going to be going on during the month of May. If you'll read with me, it says, Witches and Wizards, excitement is building as we near the finals of the traditional Hogwarts Interhouse Quidditch Cup. With everyone abuzz about Quidditch, the Calibity appears to be answering in kind by manifesting Quidditch-related foundables and memories of matches past. Which Hogwarts house do you support? The daring Gryffindors, the slippery Slytherins, the sharp Ravenclaws, the determined Hufflepuffs? Whichever team you're rooting for, you'll need to dust off your broom and help keep the Quidditch Cup out of the Calamity's grasp. This month, keep an eye out for the following. March Makeup Community Day, play at Home Edition, which is all day Saturday, May 2nd, tomorrow, from 12.01 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. local time, which will be, of course, like we covered in videos past. You can check that out in the card above if you want all of those details and everything you'll need to know about Community Day. Again, you can go ahead and check that out in the card above. Then the Quidditch Cup Brilliant Event Part 1 will be Tuesday, May 5th at 11 a.m., running through Tuesday, May 12th at 11 a.m., which we will be helping to return Brilliant Quidditch Cup foundables, including Chaser and Quidditch Captain Angelina Johnson and the notedly Nimble Nimbus 2000. Next, there is May Community Day, which is another Play at Home Edition 24-hour window edition of Community Day, which will be huge for people's registries. This says, challenge yourself to take on wizarding challenges of even higher levels for equally high-level rewards. So I'm really, really interested in those high-level rewards and what those mean. If that will be things like the wands, uh, if that will be like the really, really hard to find foundables on the Quidditch page, if we'll get guaranteed Quidditch foundables. I don't know for sure yet. I don't have those details, but I'm excited to see what they are because I really want to finish my Quidditch pages. Then finally, the Quidditch Cup Brilliant Event Part 2. That will, you know, encapsulate that brilliant event. And that's from Tuesday, May 19th to Tuesday, May 26th at 11 a.m. Pacific Time. Continue to help return brilliant Quidditch Cup foundables, including the ever-enthusiastic Quidditch fan Luna Lovegood and famously perilous Bludgers. The Quidditch Wizarding Weekend, which will wrap up the whole month, uh, you know, in like a really unique event. This will be like, um, you know, the Marauders event. This will be like the Nature and Nifflers event. This is going to be a specific Quidditch-based foundable weekend. Uh, Friday, May 29th through Monday, June 1st at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Soar to new heights with a Quidditch-packed weekend where you can expect to catch the sight of Chudley Cannon's player of the Quidditch World Cup and other Quidditch-related foundables. Be sure to follow along my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram channels for upcoming event details, as well as additional game content releases throughout the month. You can also visit Harry Potter Wizards United Community to discuss the game with others. So yes, that was the blog. That was basic info that anybody can read. But I want to delve into this because there are some certain words and phrases that make me think a few different things. First, I want to point out the Wizarding Challenges Community Day. So challenge yourself to take on Wizarding Challenges of even higher levels for equally high level rewards. So one first thing that comes to mind are the adversaries that we never saw in the game. I doubt that they will use this as a time to introduce those adversaries, but I've been wanting them for so, so long that it would be amazing if they introduced them. I don't expect them to be in the game. I don't know if they will be or not. I'm hoping that they are because that would be really fun. But if that's not what they're talking about, then I'm hoping that it means things like Dark Chambers 4 and 5 uh, will be able to get those really hard to find things. Like maybe we'll have increased wands uh, drop, you know, from those higher chambers, those things of like Dumbledore's Army's wands, where we'll be able to find those wands and, and help prestige those pages. Maybe that's it. I'm not positive about that. Maybe we're just going to be guaranteed certain foundable drops in certain levels of chambers. So that's all speculation, but I'm really looking forward to those details nonetheless. Secondly, I want to look at the Quidditch Wizarding Weekend. At the bottom of the description, it says, and other Quidditch related foundables. Now in the past, whenever there are boosted spawns of one particular foundable or two particular foundables, as you can see by Chudley Cannon's player and the Quidditch World Cup, they specify and they tell you exactly what you will be seeing in the wild. So if it says other Quidditch related foundables, this could mean one of two things. Either they didn't want to list everything out that is going to be boosted, which is pretty likely, or there are going to be new Quidditch foundables introduced, including a new foundable page to magical games and sports. So that's 
that's a guess. It's a guess. Again, a complete guess and shot in the dark. But I really hope that we get to see more Quidditch Foundables. I love Quidditch. This month has me fired up because ever since the first scene in Sorcerer's Stone, Philosopher's Stone, that Harry gets to play Quidditch and ride on the broomstick, like, I'm there. I've been wanting to be a pro Quidditch player for my whole life. So I'm really excited about this weekend as well and seeing what those particular Quidditch related foundables are. Now, of course, the final thing that I want to say is in the very bottom of the blog where it says additional game content releases throughout the month. That means that we might see a pretty big update. Uh, I don't have any of this information. I'm not 100% positive on any of this thing <laughs> that I'm speculating about. This is all speculation. I just want to say that and put that out there. But I'm really hoping that there are some cool quality of life updates. I'm hoping that there are some new updates to maybe foundables. Um, like I just said before with Quidditch foundables, that would be super sick. So... Fingers are crossed. I have high hopes for this month. I'm really excited for this month. And again, you know, Quidditch, man. Like, come on, who doesn't love Quidditch? Guys, that is all that I have for you today in regards to May and what we can look to expect from the month of May. I'm excited for the brilliant events of the Community Day. It's going to be awesome. Wizarding Weekend for Quidditch is going to be amazing. I just, I'm excited about all of it, as you can probably tell from the video. Uh, but let me know what you guys think down below. I love interacting with you guys in the comment section as well as on social media. So make sure you guys have followed me there if you haven't already, especially on Twitter where I interact with people all the time. Uh, you can check out the links in the description. Join my personal Discord where we're constantly helping people through chambers as you know the night bus has rolled out and all of that good stuff. So make sure you stay connected. And if you did like the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and ring those bell notifications so you can be made aware the next time I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content. May is going to be jam-packed full of good times and I can't wait to share those with you all. So until next time, make sure you stay well, stay healthy, and peace.